Mr. Duff, the science buff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Duff, 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 Duff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Science rules. Mr. Duff, the science buff. You know shop is a public Mr. Duff, the science buff. Inside Science with Mr. Duff the Science Buff. And remember, who needs Bill Nye the Science Guy when you got Mr. Duff the Science Buff. Hello, this is Mr. Duff the Science Buff in Washington, D.C. I'm currently at the Washington Monument. The Washington Monument is the tallest stone structure in the world. How tall is it, you say? It is 185 yards tall. Now, how many feet is that? Well, to convert a large measurement to a small measurement, you multiply. So 185 times three feet in a yard is 555 feet. The monument is made up of stone. The stones are made up of minerals, mostly marble and granite. Marble is a metamorphic rock. It used to be something else, it changed. The granite is an igneous rock. It used to be magma or lava. Guess what? How much do you think it weighs? A washing ton! <laughs> Time for a workout. I need to get my respiratory system, my lungs, and my circulatory system, my heart, going. You know, as I stand here, my skeletal system is keeping me up. It's supporting me. It works in conjunction with my muscular system that helps me move. Now I'm going to lift a weight. As I lift this weight, my bicep contracts. And then when I want to relax, my, relax my bicep, my tricep contracts. That's the way I lift weights, through a series of contractions. In general, that's how we move. Our muscles work with our skeletal system with a series of contractions. Oh, I'm starting to breathe harder. My respiratory system's working with my circulatory system, delivering oxygen to my body's cells. Hey, you want to hear a joke? What do you call a dinosaur that just gets done with a hard workout? A kind of sore. This is my bike, the Quacker Mobile. A wheel and axle is a simple machine. Bikes have two wheels and axles, so that makes them a compound simple machine. You know these spokes on a tire? Those are examples of levers. My bike, uh, the Quacker Mobile, is a mountain bike. It has special tires on it that help it create friction when it goes up hills. Here comes Mr. Duff, the science buff. He's converting chemical energy into kinetic energy. Is he reading popular science while riding a bicycle? Hey, you want to help save our planet, you know, Spaceship Earth? It's real simple. When you're brushing your teeth, all you got to do is turn off the water. <coughs> this here is a blow dryer. This is an example of energy being converted. The electricity, the electrons coming out of the wall are being converted into heat, sound, and mechanical energy in the blow dryer. <sighs> Good morning. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Nature calls. Mm. You know, if I urinate, I'll be using my excretory system. If I do the other, it'll be my digestive system. I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, looky here. Somebody's got bad manners. They didn't flush. This is an example of which type of system? Hmm. Hey, you wanna know a joke? What do you get if you mix a bear in a toilet? Winnie the Pooh! Welcome to my garage. This is Patches. Patches lives in my garage. I keep a lot of tools in my garage. 
Uh, tools are example, many of them are examples of simple machines. A simple machine changes the direction and the strength of a force. Examples of simple machines are inclined planes, levers, pulleys. Now see this tree clipper? It has a pulley on it. If I pull down, the cutting device goes up. I pull down, it goes up, it changes the direction of the force. This is an inclined plane. It's kind of like a ramp. These clippers are made with two levers and inclined planes. The inclined planes are here are the edge. It's kind of like a knife. A knife is just two inclined planes back to back. You know, the Egyptian pyramids were built with inclined planes. Now, here's another simple machine. This is a shovel. A shovel is an example of a lever and a fulcrum. You move the handle a bunch, right, and it focuses the strength in the ground and the steel part. You know, a seesaw is an example of a lever with a fulcrum. Um, you want to hear a joke? What did the guy say when he invented the shovel? This is going to be groundbreaking. This is Mr. Duff the Science Buff's truck. I call my truck silly. This is where I put gas in my truck. You know, gas is a fossil fuel. It comes from oil. It comes from a bunch of dead stuff. You know, gas has stored energy. That means it has potential energy. Gas also has chemical energy. The chemical energy can be converted into kinetic energy, movement. Also, it uh, produces heat. It's kind of like, you know, when gas is like food. When you eat, um, our food is converted into kinetic energy and heat energy. This is a light switch. This switch is very much just like this switch. Right now, the circuit is open. If I close this, the conductor now can go from wire to wire so the electrons can flow. Just like if I turn this light switch on, now the circuit is closed and the lights go on. Hey, guess what? What is a light bulb's favorite kind of news? Current events. This is my piano. When I hit a key, a hammer inside the piano hits a string. The string starts vibrating and that creates a sound wave. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Duff, 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 Duff. Duff. What a cool song. I really like that song for some reason. How is that sound created? Well, the electricity comes out of the wall and goes into the TV and the speakers. The electrons or current make the speakers vibrate. That vibration creates sound waves that go through the molecules in the air. Those sound waves then go to our ear and make our eardrums vibrate. The eardrums work with the nerves and go to the brain and they uh, make a sound out of it. It's really cool. The ears are a sensory organ. They're part of the nervous system. Meet my dogs, Diego and Destin. You know, dogs have some really cool physical adaptations. Do you know they can hear four times better than us? And they can smell 40 times better than us. Those are both generalizations, but it's pretty cool. The, these physical adaptations help them hunt, but unfortunately, they make them really scared of fireworks and makes them think we smell really bad. kitchen. I'm here today to talk about energy transfers. There's three main ways that energy is transferred. There is convection, there's radiation, and conduction. Convection is when this water is boiling, water molecules bounce into other water molecules as it circulates and it heats up all the water. The second way is radiation. That's when you feel the sun at the beach. Isn't it amazing? There's a big ball of gas 93 million miles away it's made out of hydrogen and helium, and you can feel that with a sunburn at the beach. That's an example of radiation. The third is conduction. See this pan? Conduction is when one thing touches another thing, like this uh, pan is touching the stove. No, oh, my hand is burning! You know the difference between a physical change and a chemical change? Let me see if I can show you. Let me see. See these eggs? Oh, I better not use any eggs. My wife's already mad because I'm filming in her kitchen. Hey, you know uh, why you can't tell an egg a joke? It might crack up. Physical change. See this? This is an onion. If I chop it into a bunch more pieces, those pieces are still an onion. No new substance. 
Just a physical change. No new substance, still onions. Now see this? This is baking soda. I want to model a chemical change. For a chemical change, you need a new substance. So if I pour this vinegar into the baking soda, oh, look at those bubbles go. The new substance is the carbonic acid, the bubbles. So a chemical change, you have to have a new substance, and that was carbonic acid. Do you know what mixtures and solutions are? See this bowl of cereal? This is called a mixture. See, I can mix it all up. It has flakes and it has walnuts and almonds and stuff like that. And then I can take it back apart. So it's a mixture because I can take it back apart. There's another type of mixture called a solution. See this water? I can dump a bunch of salt in it, okay? And then I can stir it up. and the salt gets evenly spread out or dispersed all throughout the water, that is what you call a solution. It's a type of mixture, but it's called a solution. So this is a basic mixture. This is a mixture called a solution because it's evenly dispersed. What's wrong? Do they make you nervous? No, that's it. I've had enough. To my office, Mr. Duffney. Yeah, Mr. Go to her office. Okay, I'm in a world of trouble now. Let's go. Who is it? This is Mrs. Dorsey, your principal. No one's home. Mr. Duffney, I know you're in here. We need to talk. I am getting complaints about body parts and desk. I'm getting near heart attacks with air horns, and lastly, I've got teachers and students complaining about being frank. Now you open this door, young man. Hey, Miss Dorsey, you hear about the principal who fired the cross-eyed teacher? No, I did not. She couldn't control her pupils. Okay. You open this door. Oh, off to the principal's office you go. Follow this yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Oh, hi. I'm out here listening to the birds with my sound capturing device. You know, sounds move through the air in waves. This right here is a sound capturing disc. It collects those waves, and this is an amplifier. Sound amplifier makes them louder. It's really interesting. You know what I get to do with this? I can listen to my students' conversations from far away. Now, if I dump the baking...